I'm Jay Shetty, and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing that I do when I wake up is avoid looking at my phone. For years, I woke up, picked up my phone straight away, and now I try and replace it with a grateful thought. So I try and have a thankful, grateful thought first thing in the morning before I do anything. I'm not someone who eats first thing in the morning. The first thing I do is meditate, and then I usually have my first meal after my workout. So I am 100% a tea drinker. When it's wet or raining or cold outside, I grab a lemon ginger tea because I want to feel warm and cozy. But if the weather is great outside, then I'll grab like a jasmine green peach tea because that's going to set me up for the day. What I love about drinking tea, for me, it becomes a mindful practice. I'm breathing in the scent, I'm looking at the colors, I'm feeling still as I'm experiencing all the flavors. And so to me, it really gets me into that mindful state at the beginning of the day. So I spent a long time trying to search for the ideal breakfast. I tried so many different types of breakfast, and finally I discovered chia pudding. It may not sound that impressive, but I promise you, it has been incredible for me, and I start my day every day with chia pudding. And I'll also have a shake, which includes bananas, almond milk, almond butter, cacao, and carob. And that shake keeps me energized all the way through to lunch. It's super filling, super nourishing, and I feel great. Every day can look absolutely different. I could be in the studio recording meditations. I could be in the studio recording a podcast. But over time, I've realized that not skipping meals has been really important for me. So I always make sure to have lunch scheduled in my calendar so that I can make it a priority. So a typical lunch for me is a mixture of all of these things. But one of my favorite meals is kitchri. Now, if you've never heard of that before, don't worry. Uh, I grew up on it and it's a mix of rice, lentils. I'll usually have that with a bit of sauteed kale. And it's just one of those things that makes me feel clean, content, and happy, and then I don't feel weighed down for the rest of the day. So I have to be completely honest. If you're listening to my diet and thinking, wow, this guy's really healthy, I was nowhere near close to this before I met my wife. Snacks to me were like bag of chips, maybe some fries, maybe a three bars of chocolate. I grew up eating four chocolate products a day, a chocolate biscuit, a chocolate bar, a chocolate yogurt and a chocolate ice cream every single day, and I'm not joking. Now my snacks look very different. I eat cacao nibs that are sweetened with monk fruit, so there's no refined sugar in those. And another snack that I really enjoy is nuts, whether it's walnuts, almonds, cashews. I'll be carrying around like handful of nuts throughout the day to make sure that I can keep my energy. A typical dinner for me is an Indian curry with some roti, Indian bread, and maybe a little bit of rice. So it could be anything from a chickpea curry or stew all the way through to a mixed vegetable curry. For me, having that Indian meal in the evening makes me feel like I'm back at home and it gives me that nostalgic feeling of being a child again. I'm no longer allowed to late night snack and so I haven't done it for a long time, but my favorite late night snack used to be chocolate cereal. Any chocolate cereal with a bowl of milk, like that was my go-to midnight snack. Cheat meals are my favorite thing. I try and only have two per week, but a cheat meal to me is an incredible pizza or a burger and fries and ideally a chocolate fudge cake at the end of it. That's the most important component of a cheat meal. It has to end with a chocolate fudge cake. The best thing I can cook is gourmet beans on toast. And I only call it gourmet because I'll sprinkle some cilantro on top, maybe a bit of salt and pepper, but as a Londoner, beans on toast is without a doubt better than avocado toast. And I love avocado toast, but beans on toast wins. My favorite food city has to be New York. As someone who's plant-based, New York is filled with incredible plant-based options, all different ends of the spectrum, different cuisines, I loved living in New York when I was there for a couple of years, and I love visiting. My go-to comfort meal is dosa. It's this South Indian dish that I grew up eating, and it's like a thin, savory crepe that you usually have with something called sambar, which is like a lentil soup, and you dip it in coconut chutney. I dream about dosa pretty much all the time. So something I recommend for mindful eating is a technique that we learned when I was in the monastery and we were told to chew our food 16 to 32 times. Now I know that sounds crazy, but when you do that, you're actually making it so much easier 
for your body to digest anything you consume. Another way to mindfully eat is to set a little prayer, a little intention before you dive into the food. Whether it's gratitude to the people that made it, the people that delivered it, the people that brought it there, it's such a beautiful way to set that energy before you eat whatever it is that you're about to eat. And that's everything I eat in a day. Thanks so much for watching.